With pressure on the industry to reduce its emissions, solutions can be sought from outside the world of shipping. An innovative technology that's taken the automotive industry by storm could do the same for shipping. Our reporter visited RK Lab to find out more. The variety of ships' fuel types and engine systems accepted at different ports has brought demands for a single standardized solution. Now a self-pressurizing diesel fuel injector has been developed that can significantly cut emissions and save money. At Powertrain Technology in Shoreham, a team of engineers and consultants is working to deliver a new generation of marine diesel engines to replace the old common rail injection system, developing a design first imagined more than 60 years ago and already introduced into the automotive industry. The original ideas were to make a diesel injector which was powered by the compression in the cylinder as opposed to an external pump. It couldn't be made to work many years ago, but the current inventor or reinventor, Ron Kukla, has created a system using modern manufacturing techniques and we're using modern electronic control techniques which facilitate it, which enable it, make it possible. And there are a series of advantages that come with that, not least being the cost saving, the simplicity, but also improved combustion. Taking the inventor's initials, the RK Lab fuel injector represents a logical step forward in the progression of automotive engineering. The RK self-pressurizing injector receives its initial compression from the piston in the combustion chamber, which is then multiplied within the injector, forcing the diesel fuel into the combustion chamber through up to 180 tiny injection holes under a pressure of more than 5,000 bar. This creates optimal combustion conditions, higher pressure, smaller fuel droplet size and lower combustion temperatures. This all adds up to greater efficiency. Ever more stringent international regulations on cutting toxic emissions mean that ships' engines will be required to stay up to date. And as the new RK Lab injector system can be retrofitted to existing engines as well as put into new ones, then the benefits could be widely adopted. But effectively what our injector does is try to meet not only the, the targets of today but the targets of tomorrow. And we're doing that really through pressure differentials, so it's a, a, a complete step change. So you're getting a, a massive force through tiny droplets and the air mixing with the fuel gives a much better and much cleaner combustion. So what we're seeing from that, the results are massive reduction in NOx, significant reduction in particulates and, and better fuel economy. And that's what we're finding the marine customers that we talk to, is that with our injectors they'll be able to get to a larger number of ports under the significant port restrictions and emissions, um, and they'll be able to do that um, globally. The global potential of the new system to be further developed with marine industry partners excites the team in Shoreham. From an engineer's point of view, um, it's very uh, rewarding to work on a project where you see the groundwork that's been laid by the original inventor, um, but you get to see the product go through the whole process, um, through the development stage to the testing stage, um, and then hopefully um, being handed over to a customer. With the RK Lab's variable compression system, ships can use more power when needed for a heavy load and can travel further. The designers say that the fuel savings are likely to be what first drives customers to the new injector system, but it will be the emission reductions that bring the lasting benefit from this new technology.